how it was back in the day. Ah, passable. This is very passable. Uh, nothing like a good glass of Dom Perignon. You got that right, Obadiah. Who'd have thought 30 years ago we'd all be sitting here drinking Dom Perignon champagne? Aye, in them days we'd be glad to have a price of a cup of Gatorade. A cup of warm Gatorade? Without electrolytes or sugar. Or Gatorade. In a filthy, cracked, plastic cup. We never used to have a cup. We used to drink out of a rolled up newspaper. The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. Well, at least you had water for hydration. We'd go out and sit and just roast, relying on moisture in the air just to keep us cool. Air? That's grand. We wish for air to flow into our suits. Ours had no openings at all for air to come in. Ah, true. At least your costumes were light. Mine was heavy and made from shag carpet, so it was like an oven inside. Sounds comfy, that. Mine had a heater in it just to circulate the air inside. If I didn't get over 150 degrees inside and I passed out, I felt like I left everyone down. But you know, we were happy in those days though, seeing as those fur cons were so small and poor. Aye, because we were poor. My old con chair used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness. He was right. I was happier then and I had nothing. We used to sit on this tiny headless lounge with great big holes in the roof. Lounge? You were lucky to have a lounge. We used to suit out of a closet all 126 of us, no furniture, half the floor was missing, and we were all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. You were lucky to even have a closet. We, we used to have to get into suit in a draped up corridor. Oh, we used to dream to suit out of a corridor. Would have been a palace to us. We used to change into costume an old water tank on a rubbish heap. We had to work around every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. Lounge, <laughs> well, when I say lounge, it was only a hole in the ground covered by a piece of tarp, but it was a lounge to us. We were kicked out from our hole in the ground for the artist's cell. We had to go and suit out of a lake. You were lucky to have a lake. There were 160 of us working out of a small shoebox in the middle of the Con Hotel parking lot. Cardboard box? Aye. You were lucky. We had to, for three conventions, have a suit out of a brown paper bag in a septic tank. We used to have to suit up at 6 o'clock in the morning, clean the bag, filter our own water, go to work, setting up the con, and breaking it down for 14 hours a day. When we got done, our con chair would thrash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury. We used to have to suit up and get out of the lake at 3 o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot gravel, go to work at the mill every day for a dollar a month to support the con, come back, and the conjurer would beat us around the head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. Well, we had it tough. We used to have to get up out of our shoebox at 12 o'clock at night and lick the parking lot clean with our tongues. We had half a handful of freezing cold gravel leak, and to finance the con, we had to work 24 hours a day at the mill for a dollar for every six years. And when we got home, our con chair would slice us in two with a butter knife. Right. I had to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before I went to bed, eat a lump of cold poison, work 29 hours a day down at the mill and pay all the travel expenses for the con chair to travel around the world. And when we got home, our con chair would kill us and dance about on our grave singing hallelujah. But you try and tell that to the new fursuiters today and they won't believe you. No, 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 no. no, no. no.